Every year, the JAI and the ATG organize the olive picking program in October. This program is important for a lot of farmers and Palestinians because we bring a lot of internationals to offer security and help for the Palestinian farmers. <laughs> The best thing about the olive picking is the fact that we're all working together as a team. I've met people from all over the world, you know, different nationalities, different languages. I've met people from my own country of different backgrounds, and we've all gelled together and worked together as a support team. The best part, I think, has been given the opportunity to do this, to do the olive picking, actually. Um, and the amount of information that, you know, I've received, which has made my knowledge much broader than it was. And I thought I was quite well informed, but this has been fantastic for being informed. The other thing I'd like to say is that the, the talks we've had have been so, so professionally um, done and there's been so much research behind what we've heard. The, uh, the fields we select for olive picking are fields that are under a threat of settlement expansion. These are th these settlements uh, are built or constructed on private property land for for the Palestinians inside the Palestinian territories, and these settlements get frequently expanded and they take more and more uh, land and build more more units. And so they cut olive trees and they steal land and prevent farmers from reaching their uh, their their uh, fields to to expand the settlement and make it make it larger and link settlements to to each other and to cities inside Israel. But we have heard from such courageous people, and that's very encouraging, because in this situation it's so easy just to say, well, there's no hope for people. But yes, there's hope. Thank you.